Hey everybody, Kendra here. So I was asked about some recipes and I have some that are my favorites. So I'm sharing those. I make sure everything's organic or non-GMO. It's okay if like it can't be, but do it. Okay, it's not that expensive now because there's a lot of brands that are um, less expensive, especially like HEB or Natural Grocers who have had their own brands come out. I love Alex Snodgrass's the Define Dish. I have a ton of her recipes. They're healthy. They're fantastic. Um, Whole30 Pot Roast. There's a picture of what it looks like. But um, anyway, and yes, I still print things out sometimes, even though I know I don't have to. Um, so I love this recipe. I know it takes a lot of time to cook, and but I have a what is it? An iron skillet like pot with a lid on it that you can cook sourdough bread in because of course during 2020 I was part of that people the people who were making sourdough bread and doing all that stuff so anyway I have one best buy ever I love this thing you can put it on top of the stove in the stove it's a fantastic buy so I think that is something that you do need to have for this recipe so anyway I guess you could make it in like a slow cooker yeah she says you can on the back anyway um so anyway i made this recipe i didn't do anything different to it i don't believe let me look at it um i did not use fresh thyme because thyme is like the bane of my existence when it comes to haha <laughs> that's funny uh but i mean anyway the herb thyme is the bane of my existence it's so tiny and like picking the sprigs and stuff really throw me for a loop so I'm just like, eh, I don't like this. So I just use dried. Um, anyway, yeah, I didn't do anything different for this. I think the only thing that you could do different is if you didn't have beef broth, you could use a different kind of broth. Now this is a chuck roast. I am not a fan of chuck roast. I am really not a big fan of beef. I never have been. It's not really a thing for me. Like I prefer other kinds of meats. It just is what it is. Uh, but I ate it. I made it for my family during Halloween and again during Christmas and it's delicious. It smells good. It tastes yummy. And yes, I doubled the recipe. Yes, I probably should have got a bigger pot to do that. Um, it's just that cooking things are expensive and like, you know, like a bigger cast iron skillet pot thing. It was just, just a cost I didn't want to have to do. So I did double the recipe. The recipe but like with the beef not necessarily everything else just with the beef um and it turned out good turned out cooked and yummy and tender and everything like that but yeah so fyi on that but you know what you could get a cast iron pot at like Marshall's or Ross or TJ Maxx for not like a ton of money. That's where my boyfriend got his cast iron skillet and it wasn't as much as it would have been like at Academy or Walmart or Amazon or whatever. So anyway, um, yeah. So if you value the content I create, please like, subscribe and share. Bye.